yeah, this was very much a collaboration with Sony Santa Monica. Um, this idea had been floating around in multiple forms um, throughout the different years from uh, Sony Santa Monica. So uh, when we came to uh, talk about creating a multiplayer experience with all of the PlayStation characters, this clearly seemed like the right idea to do. We have Kratos, Parappa, Fat Princess, Colonel Raddick, Sly Cooper, and Sweet Tooth. Obviously, um, some of those characters are very, very iconic. Obviously, Kratos and Sweet Tooth have been a part of, um, you know, all of the PlayStation generations. And um, the other characters, Sly Cooper, obviously, is a, a huge, uh, you know, uh, character in terms of a franchise. And um, Colonel Raddick, again, he represented such a great chance to bring in a, a very kind of menacing character um, from the Killzone series. And um, as far as Parappa, it's like a throwback to PlayStation 1 and all the fans that are familiar with that character. And it brings such a unique comical element to the game, as does Fat Princess. Again, from her, from her franchise, she doesn't really do any kind of combat, but we thought it would be a great way to bring in a unique character, bring in some comical elements, and um, having all of her villagers help her in her combat. Kratos obviously is heavy in terms of his weapons and his blades. Um, he even has bow and arrow. And um, in terms of uh, Parappa, he uses his microphone a lot. He uses boom boxes. Uh, Radic is heavily weapons based with rifles and he has melee attacks with his knife. Um, Sweet Tooth is all about, you know, big brawling using landmines. And then also he can transform into this huge mecha tooth during his supers. Uh, Fat Princess, again, brings in a lot of her um, army to help. And um, even a chicken, she'll ride a chicken to do uh, some of her super moves. Uh, let's see, Sly Cooper, he's all about um, the thievery and, and sneaking around. So he has a lot of invisibility moves, decoy moves, and the ability to kind of steal AP. We have today showing, we have um, Hades level with a Patapon mashup. We have um, a little Big Planet level with a Buzz mashup. And we have a um, Jack and Daxter level with a uh, Hot Shots mashup. And then we have a Metropolis level that's inspired by Ratchet and Clank with uh, Captain Quark coming out and the Hydras from God of War. What will we find on those levels? An incredibly rich, interactive background with um, one mashup in every level. So when the mashups come out, it's not just, um, it's, it's a change in the background, it's unique cameo appearances from other characters, it's music changing, and it's just um, a lot of fun interaction with the background and the level when it comes out. We'll have things like the rocket launcher from Warhawk, we'll have the gravity shield from Wipeout, We'll have um, Spear of Destiny from God of War, just to name a few. First and foremost, it's going to be the, uh, the fact that we've put all of this rich content in throughout the entire game, not just the characters. So again, the, the, the music and how it's mashed up, and the levels and how it's mashed up, and all of the cameo appearances, but also an incredibly um, deep online experience, including a tournament mode, the ability to play cooperatively and competitively. And then also a pretty um, unique combat, core, core combat mechanics uh, in terms of how we do our point scoring and in terms of just um, building up the energy so that you can score points and do kills. That's all very different.